Hey guys, so today is November 5th and it's Hunter's first birthday and I'm going to be <laughs> and I'm going to be showing you um, how I'm making his birthday cake which is really a, uh, a meatloaf so yeah hope you guys enjoy watching this and and it's nice and simple <laughs> okay <laughs> He is so silly. Hunter, I love you. <laughs> Yay, precious. <laughs> I gotta go make your meatloaf, puppy. So first, obviously, we're going to want to make some coffee. Step one is completed. Okay, now let's check out this recipe, which I got from thebark.com. Let's get all of our ingredients. Bam. That's it. Pretty simple. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is cook half a cup of oats and one cup of veggies. And this has green beans, peas, carrots, and corn in it. Make sure, I'm sure a lot of you dog owners know this, but make sure that in your meatloaf that you do not include any onion because it causes anemia in dogs. It is not good for them. So dogs should never have onion. So we're just gonna do that real quick and move on to the next step. I'm just using frozen veggies. Feel free to use, you know, whatever you want. Fresh, frozen. Just gonna get a good cup of that. And as I said before, I got this on thebark.com. And actually, for uh, portion control, um, I have cut the recipe in half. So. Originally, this is, you know, two pounds of meat, two cups of veggies, a whole cup of oats, and, you know, etc. So, really do whatever you want. You don't even have to use this recipe. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I like it because it is so simple. Okie dokie. And next. And obviously, I don't know if you guys eat oatmeal a lot, I do, but for every uh, portion of oats that you use, you're going to want to use twice as much water. So I'm going to get a cup of water for this. Alright. I think in the meantime, I'm going to mix together the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to use lamb for this. So this oatmeal is just about done vegetables haven't even started to boil. Those are probably going to take a bit of time. Oatmeal is always pretty quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's nasty. It's kind of mushy because I had it in a bowl of water for a few hours to make sure that it God. You guys, wash your hands, okay? Seriously, wash your hands. Do it. It's important. Do it. La 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 la. Let's pretend that I was, you know, for 30 seconds. So, instead of breadcrumbs, <clears throat> so instead of breadcrumbs, I'm going to use flaxseed. And the original recipe called, called for three fourths of a cup, so I'm going to use three eighths of a cup. 
obviously I'm cutting the recipe in half, which is the equivalent of, what did I write down here, six tablespoons of flaxseed. Yep. Check those vegetables out. They are really going. Six kilo. All right, we're gonna get this oatmeal in here. Yummy. One egg, one large organic egg. I love cracking eggs. At least when I do it well, because I always feel like some like like Chef Ramsay over here. And when the vegetables are done, we'll get back to it. So while the vegetables are boiling, I thought I would read you some of the stiff that was in this uh, recipes for dogs. Uh, article on the bark. So, use beef, ground turkey, chicken, or lamb, but avoid pork or veal, which can be too fatty. Also, pork, of course, if not fully cooked, can transmit trichinosis, which is something that you have to be very careful about. In place of the oatmeal, you can try other whole grains, such as brown rice or quinoa. Preheat the oven to 350 and place the oven rack in the middle slot. Transfer the mixture to a loaf pan or use a 13 by 9 inch baking dish and form a loaf in the center. You can also use a roasting pan, just space the loaf in the middle of it. You can cook potatoes or sweet potatoes in the pan at the same time and bake for one hour. Feed according to your dog's size and calorie needs. They also mention in this article that you can make multiple loaves and freeze them for future meals. This is really more meant to be a special occasion, which is why I cut the recipe amount in half and I'm just really going to feed it to Hunter for his birthday. I'm going to put the link for this below if you guys are interested in it. I'm just trying to get some paint off my finger. Painting earlier. Okay. So, vegetables are done. And we're done. We just gotta mix all this together. Also, this kind of goes without saying, but um, no seasoning of any kind. This recipe does call for some parsley, but I don't have any, so. feels like playing with guts, you know, because I've done that before. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a two-part pan for this. Um, meatloaf is going to go in here and you can see that they are holes around the side for draining the um, fat, the oil in this. So yeah, let's get this in there. Alright guys, the oven is all heated. Here we go. And I'm gonna set a timer for one hour. Ready? You're a cute birthday boy.
This is nice and filthy. <laughs> you want the ball? Meatloaf's almost done. I gotta go. And it's all done. Let's see how it's turned out. Oh yeah. He's gonna love that. It kind of looks like manure, but that's okay. It smells really good. I kind of want to see quick how much fat was drained let's see not a lot I can still see some on the side so we're gonna let it sit and cool off a bit All right, so I have cut up the meatloaf and here is his birthday dish cake. I decided to uh, put it in this bowl instead because it's better for him that way. Hey. All right guys, that's it. This was an awesome memory, um, a really, really great day. And I just wanted to say again, thank you so much to Alan Zakitas. We absolutely love Hunter. He's amazing. Um, I'm gonna put the link below for Alan Zakitas. And yeah, bye. There's no more. There's no more, Hunter. Sorry. Later. Later, baby. <laughs> I love you. You're sweetie. I'm glad you liked it. I love you, buddy. <laughs>